welcome to the Deliverance Network. So happy to have you joining us again. And as we're filming, we're coming to you. It's February, nice and cold, but beautiful, beautiful day. And um, bringing to you again messages of hope, messages also with a little bit of disconcerting news. But uh, again, that call is for us to be prepared because we are being forewarned. Not to become afraid, not to run away, not to go anywhere else but stick with our faith, but to listen and to heed the warnings that are coming. And today I'm going to share with you one from Luz de Maria de Bonilla, that visionary who enjoys church approval from Brazil. And this message is from St. Michael the Archangel, and it is from February the 19th, so very, very recent. And he says, People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, as Prince of the Heavenly Legions and by divine mandate, I share with you and command of you obedience and peace. I call you to be fraternal so that you would help one another. Do not only read the divine calls, put the divine calls into practice. Internalize and bring each call to life. In this way, you will be prepared for the unexpected actions that may present themselves to humanity. Nature continues to advance. Man continues to suffer from the elements which are growing stronger and are becoming more unexpected all the time. Grow through spiritual nourishment, the Holy Eucharist. Be creatures of immovable faith. Do not despair at the slightest piece of news. And this is again with a call from the Deliverance Network. Do not fear, but pray deep in your faith and pay attention to the warnings. Do not despair at the slightest piece of news. Strengthen yourselves with the love of the Most Holy Trinity and of our Queen and Mother of the End Times. The spiritual battle is fierce. It is spread throughout the earth and over all humanity. As your protectors, we deliver you from so many misfortunes, from so many falls, as long as you allow us to do so. The tentacles of the Antichrist are moving hastily, inflaming the minds of leaders of the powers. The core of the war is not what is being presented to you, but rather the economy of the country of the North. And of course, he's talking about this situation with regard to Russia and Ukraine. The core of the war, he says, is not what is being presented to you, but rather the economy of the country of the North and the bear's desire for power. Do not look on the surface, go deeper. And then the visionary says, at this moment, St. Michael the Archangel gives her a vision of a giant bear watching everything that is happening next to it. And I look at it and it makes an impression. Nothing escapes its notice. It anticipates everything. I also see the eagle that represents the country of the north, and she means, of course, the United States. Going from one place to another, it comes and goes insistently in search of support, but the bear does not need support. It has in its hands a totally unknown weapon which will help it neutralize its adversaries. And then St. Michael the Archangel says, as the people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you should have prepared yourselves. And I notice here that he uses a past tense. You should have prepared yourselves. And so the call from heaven, of course, has been to prepare for a, quite some time now. And St. Michael the Archangel, she says, waves his arms forcefully, saying to her, This generation pays no heed. Our King and Lord Jesus Christ has been insistent in asking you to prepare yourselves spiritually, to prepare yourselves with food and everything that is absolutely essential. And at the same time, to keep personal and other medicines that will be useful for the plague that the devil has prepared. And one of the medicines that they spoke about is St. Michael the Archangel's oil. And I will ask you to look that up yourself online. It's a blend of oil, a base of coconut oil, and then geranium and lavender essential oil added. It's supposed to be good for skin diseases. And he goes on to say, you must have the medicines that heaven has given you in order to overcome the illnesses that will come. Only faith in what the Father's house has revealed to you will heal you, together with the use of the sacramentals. Do not speculate concerning the sacramentals. They all depend on your faith. And here he references these oils. Use the oil of the Good Samaritan. We've spoken about that in the past. That one is supposed to be very good for... Uh, protection against viruses and so I've been personally using it for the past couple of years and he also says the oil of Saint Michael the Archangel which I just spoke about calendula for hemorrhagic diseases and that's uh, bleeding diseases disorders I believe it is important that you strengthen your immune system daughter 
explain to them what I will show you. And then she says in her own words, St. Michael the Archangel shows me the way in which evil will attack us in the midst of the war. First will come spiritual, then material attack on food, clothing, medicines that are essential for some people, together with the restriction of individual freedoms as a result of the new disease. And then St. Michael continues, People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, terrorist attacks will arise again. Do not travel, do not hurry, wait. It will be extremely dangerous. Disease will be sent through human beings and international means of transport. Be careful. People of God, persevere. Be creatures of faith, without, continue without wavering. If God is with you, who is against you? And that is so true. Our queen and mother of the end times keeps you under her mantle. She protects you if you obey. I bless you with the love of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. And so obviously a very powerful stern warning from St. Michael the Archangel, but again that warning given out of love for us to prepare for what we can. Go, avail yourself of the sacraments. Nourish yourself spiritually with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, of course the Eucharist if you're Catholic. Delve more seriously into the search for truth, the truth of faith if you haven't found God yet. And store up if you can some foods, uh, they suggest a three month supply so that you have some foods on hand if we should see shortages, etc. in our stores. And again, the oils that have been recommended, uh, St. Michael the Archangel oil and the oil of the Good Samaritan. I always say check with your doctor before use. Of course, I am not your doctor. So you always must personally discern the use of any medicines or uh, supplementals, things like that, oils. And I urge you to check those out. There's lots of information online about both of those oils. So a very serious message, but again, one of hope, one telling us that if we stay with God, we stay with Jesus, we have Mary as our mother, putting her mantle of protection over us, we really have nothing to fear. It is the only safe place. It may be a bumpy ride coming up, but we are going to be going through into that purification and then the peace and the joy that follows it. And so I urge you to stay with Jesus, stay close to God the Father in your own personal spiritual journey and pray, pray, pray so that you can help bring others to Christ. Thanks so much for joining us at the Deliverance Network. God bless you today.